Yeah, I think that's in order. Thank you, Councillor McFadden. I don't see anyone else, but I do want to raise one more issue. Normally, I do it under inquiries, but it's a COVID matter, COVID-related matter, as it has been um, framed to me. Uh, and that is the external broadcasting of uh, the call to prayer, which is called Azan. And um, a number of the mosques and, and leaders in the Muslim community have approached me about it. Um, and they're very interested in within our by noise bylaws to, to broadcast externally the call to prayer. It, it, they find that it would be very inspirational during uh, this COVID period. And it is, it is Ramadan, so this would run, if permitted, between 8.15 or as Ramadan gets, uh, progresses through the month and the days become more uh, light. The more There is more light, it'd be closer to 9. So between 8.15 and 8.50 p.m., um, it was cited to me that the church bells are permitted to ring, and so why not the call to prayer? Um, Toronto is doing is allowing it. Brampton is allowing it, as is Milton. We seem to be the outlier, and we do have a large Muslim community. And if you ever watch BBC, you will see that many of the European cities are doing it as well. So I wanted to raise this with council, because it is being raised with me by numerous mosques. Uh, it started at Good, on Good Friday. And I responded that I said, well, the call, it's a call to prayer. We don't want people to gather. Uh, and so we don't want to call them to the mosque. And they said, no, no, it's just very symbolic. They wouldn't come. They wouldn't gather. Uh, it's just very inspirational in this time of COVID. Um, there are other municipalities do it, and they're willing to do it within the um, noise bylaw, uh, within the framework that we've permitted. So I wonder if we might have a discussion with this. Maybe I, I, I realize this is a new territory, and I'm raising it without raising it at uh, the uh, with senior leadership team previously. So I don't know if Jeff or Paul want to comment or Janice first. And then I do see some hands raised and my list will be Parrish, Sato, McFadden, and Les Sue that you just haven't put your hand down and Mahoney. So anyone comment from staff and then I'll go to our councils, councillors. Uh, uh, through yes, you, that's Mayor. It, it's, uh, I think Andra could comment as to whether there's, whether our bylaw actually um, doesn't allow that. I don't know. I mean, it's the first time, to be honest with you. I've heard the question raised. So, you know, one of the suggestions is we can certainly take that question away, although I recognize there's some um, timeliness to it. And um, maybe... Um, understand the nature if there is a, a change to the bylaw the reality is we're not when we would the earliest we would be in a position to do that would be next week anyway because we have none of the work done to uh, understand the issue uh, but maybe i can let andra comment or uh, if she needs to a little bit of time to just check some things we might be able to come back to it later in the yeah, I apologize to, for springing this on you, but this has been an issue that was percolating as of Friday. Um, and I spoke with Rabia Hedder just before council. And I, uh, so I, I promised her I would raise it so that council could discuss it. But I apologize that I didn't give you, Madam uh, City Manager or Andra the heads up. So Andra, is this something you're prepared to comment on or do you want some time? Because it it's very time sensitive as well. I think we only have a couple more weeks of Ramadan. Madam Mayor, uh, I understand the time sensitivities, so we will take this back and we will need to consult with uh, enforcement and we will provide you with a, a response. Okay, because certainly other cities have found their way around their whatever bylaws are in place. I'm going to go to my list. Parrish, Mahoney, Sato, McFadden. Parrish? Yes, thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, when Andrew says she's going to go back to bylaw, does that mean we won't get an answer today, or does that mean we'll get an answer by the end of the meeting? Uh, through you, Madam Mayor, it, it would be the end of the day. Okay. Um, that doesn't help us, because we're going to have to make a decision today and now. Uh, I support it, as long as my only concern was that you see Muslims pouring out of their houses and heading to their mosques. And if if your imams are telling you that that's not going to happen and they have a good communication system. Um, I have no problem with this. People are so disconnected and they're so isolated in their homes that this might be a nice way um, to recognize uh, our Muslim community who have been really working hard with the food banks and doing a lot of work 
Um, I have no problem with it. I've been to the Middle East five times and the sound is beautiful. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, would this be one location or would this be all over the city at simultaneous times? Uh, so through you, Madam Mayor, that's the challenge. So the, the expectation that we're going to have a bylaw change ready, if that's what's required by the end of the meeting, is, is just not realistic. So I think, you know, the dilemma we have is uh, we're just finding out now that this is something that Council needs us to look at. We're happy to do that. But if it requires, it may not require, if it doesn't require a change to the noise bylaw, that's fine. We could communicate that. If it does, then the earliest we would be in a position to come back with the correct wording and, and the amendments is next week. Like we really can't do bylaw amendments on the fly. Got it, got it. I do see Andrew waving at me as well. Did you want to uh, add something? Uh, Madam Mayor, uh, Janice just covered it. That's exactly right. Um, if, if we look at the bylaw and there is no issue, we can communicate that immediately. Terrific, and so they would be willing to operate in the parameters of whatever decibel level is permitted. So if you will communicate it to us later, and certainly through my staff and the councillors through their offices could communicate it to their local mosques as well, uh, once we hear from you. Well, let, let's go through the list. Well, I'm, 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 you're on still, okay, sorry. I, I think, Madam Mayor, uh, one of the things you should do, and I shouldn't tell you what to do, is get some agreement from us today and then if it turns out it's fine when they check the bylaw, because the only thing I can think of is it's electronic and amplified. But um, my understanding of our bylaws, that usually is after 11, or most people in the park over here at Huron Park are doing it all day long in the summer. So um, I think what we need to do is get an agreement today, and then if there's no problems with the bylaw, we go ahead. Now, my natural instinct, as Janice will probably know, is to say to hell with the bylaw. If we decide it's a good idea, let's just do it anyway, and we can catch up the bylaw later. But uh, I think probably getting a general consensus this morning would be good, and then just um, you can give them permission if everything fits with the bylaw. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. And that's actually what I, what I intended when I said, let's go through the list to get your input. Sorry. Uh, to Councillor Mahoney. Uh, thank you, Madam Mayor. And uh, yeah, it's really just clarity on uh, how many times a day. I know you did say it was just once. My, one of my concerns would be that everybody's working from home now. So if this is something that's uh, repetitive or happens numerous times a day, it might kind of upset some of those folks who are working at home. Uh, but if we can just get clarity uh, on uh, the bylaw, first of all, and secondly, that uh, um, I think you did say it was one time a day, Madam Mayor. I did. It was for the evening prayer between 8.15 and 8.50. As the time progressed, it may get a little later. Right. Time. Okay. And I just, just so that could be kind of clear, um, I understand the, um, uh, the request and other municipalities apparently are doing it. Uh, I just wouldn't want to see it going five times a day uh, when there's a mosque in, in a subdivision uh, where people are working from home. I think that people are, you know, a bit stressed and uh, we need to be respectful of everybody. Um, and uh, so just, just clarity on that, that it's one time a day and that, that it fits within the bylaw. Uh, that's uh, really my questions. Thank you. Thank you for that. Councillor Sato. Yes, thank you, Madam Mayor. I was actually having some discussion with Rabia this morning on this. And um, I said to her, but it's not on the council agenda. I couldn't see it. So, um, I'm glad you raised it. I have no problem with this. Um, I did ask her, and I didn't get um, uh, I didn't get a response back yet. But I would assume that this would only be from the mosque locations where they would normally have prayer. Um, I know not necessarily in in uh, Ontario, but in um, other areas around the world, um, it is done from people's homes. And I think if you had multiple all around the municipality at the same time, I think that might uh, that might create a lot of uh, a lot of concern and complaints. So, um, like Councillor Parrish, um, I don't want to wait a week to amend a bylaw. I think it is not allowed in our in our current bylaw. Um, so I would suggest that we move a motion today that we direct staff to not enforce that portion of the bylaw until such time as we can make the amendment. Um, I mean, by the time we get the amendment made, it's gonna be 
probably only valid for about another week or so as we're uh, we're what into two weeks now almost two weeks of uh, of ramadan so um i i think we can we can do a motion today to give that direction to staff that the bylaw that we are waiving enforcement of the bylaw until such time as council can formally approve um, an amendment to the bylaw which would be for a temporary uh, permission to allow this and Rabia had confirmed that it's uh, it only happens at sunset and um, you know it uh, it's really no different than uh, than having church bells except that's only once a week usually or twice depending on uh, whether it's Saturday or Sunday and um, uh, this would be every evening which you know what given these are special times madam mayor I would think that under um, under your authority, under the emergency uh, declaration, you could probably uh, declare that bylaw amended anyway. Uh, that gives you a lot of very, you know, additional powers that you would not normally have. Um, and I see Andrew waving her hand, so I'm probably <laughs> going to be told, no, she can't do that. <laughs> but anyway, those are my suggestions. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Sato. I'm going to recognize Andrew one second. Just want to say that you know maybe so we just ask bylaw enforcement to stand down until we could make the change next week. Andrew, uh, thank you, Madam Mayor. I, unfortunately, you don't have the authority under the emergency powers because this is not part of the emergency plan. Um, however, yes, Council could give us direction today to um, waive the enforcement of the bylaw with respect to. Uh, the call to prayer being broadcast from uh, mosques. Yeah, I think that would be the direction we would go if everyone was in agreement um, and, and right. within the noise bylaw level, whatever, you know, and it would have to be from the mosque and only the evening prayer. Madam Mayor, can I jump back in and, an yes. and ask a question on that? Because um, um, I only, I have one formal mosque that has a physical building, but uh, the members of my other mosque are meeting in a church building. And I have another location that is um, a prayer location. So if we use the word in the mosque, uh, that's going to limit it to one of three prayer, um, prayer groups in my ward. So perhaps we could say, um, from the play, from the usual place of prayer, which may or may not be a mosque, because I would have no objection. Mine, one of mine, the largest one is using a church building, and I don't know whether the church would allow that or not. That's up to them to work out. But uh, all right, Councillor, I, I see the city manager would like to jump in. <laughs> so, yes. Madam Mayor, can I can I suggest that? Um, we'll text back and forth at the staff level and come up with wording for uh, a suggested wording for a resolution. I really would prefer a resolution than direction on this because I think it's a fairly material step that council is taking to waive a bylaw. Uh, so at a minimum, I want a resolution. So can you let us uh, do some work on some proposed wording? I would also point out that I've been made aware that we also had a request at one point to broadcast from City Hall. And so are we, to your point, Councillor Sato, about what facilities would we allow? Uh, in, in, and what I'm hearing is we would allow, uh, I'm gonna use words, uh, mosques or religious facilities that would typically broadcast a call to prayer as maybe su suggested wording that we would include in terms of who would be permitted to do it. I'm hearing once a day at the end of the day. Um, uh, so that gives us some parameters that we can put in a resolution to suspend enforcement for now. And then we'll come back on the issue of does it require a change to the bylaw, which we can deal with next week. Thank you, Janice. It would be helpful if you could come to that resolution by the end of the day so we could let the mosques know by 8 before 8 p.m. tonight. It would have to be before the end of the meeting, Madam Mayor, because we okay. need you to vote. We're working Perfect. on it as we speak. 
All right, then, Will, we may defer this then, but I'll just continue my list, and then at the end of the meeting, hopefully we'll have that resolution to Councillor McFadden and then Ras. Oh, I have a greater list. We'll start with the two of you and then Dasco. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, yes, this has been brought up to myself and Councillor Mahoney uh, for the boss that we share, uh, Ward 8, Ward 10. And uh, I had the same concerns. If it was being done throughout the day, um, then we had some issues with people exactly like Councillor Mahoney said, working from home. Um, I did ask by law enforcement about this prior to giving my answer uh, about the noise, noise bylaw to uh, the Amans at uh, MNN. And I went on the regulations that we have right now in place, which is no. Um, so I'm glad to see that uh, it's only going to be at the end of the day. I have absolutely no issue with it only being that one time a day. Um, so if we can get that um, in a resolution today, I think that would be very helpful. I agree, they're, they're unprecedented times and normally, um, you know, people would be coming out and enjoying uh, prayer during Ramadan. So um, this is good news. I appreciate everybody's, um, you know, feelings on this. I'm, I'm glad to see that we're including everyone um, and this is important to the Muslim community. Thank you. Yeah, well, well said, Councillor McFadden. Councillor Rast and then Dasko. Thank you, Madam Mayor. I guess um, I see Councillor Fonseca waving. I think she wants yep, to get on Yep, the she's on the list now too, thanks. Um, I guess my question is, you said, how long does how long does the call to prayer go on? Because I have uh, one of the larger mosques that is right up against residential. And if it's um, uh, during sundown, and at this point, you know, that's when the kids are trying to go to sleep, how loud is this going to be? Am I going to be faced with uh, a number of different noise complaints? So I just want to know a little bit more about it before um, I say yes. Councillor, have you had any complaints? Pardon to date? Me? Have you had any complaints to date? Uh, nope. Because they have been doing it. I learned that this morning, but that we were going to fix that depending on which direction we get. Okay, okay well, <laughs> nobody tells me, how am I going to know? <laughs> well, no one complained either. So is the good I'd like news. to make informed decisions. Thanks. Of course. Councillor Dasco, we only learned this morning. I apologize. Councillor Dasco. Yeah, thank you, Madam Mayor. And I just wanted to uh, just confirm a few things that we're looking to do because um, one is uh, that this is going to be once a day. Uh, that also this is just for places of worship and also that it's just during the time of Ramadan. Those are the parameters. And in fact, we could make it a pilot project because it's a, was, it was positioned to me very much that it, was, it would be inspirational in this time of COVID. Okay, I, I'm not sure the pilot project is the way, but I, I think that... Um, having those parameters. And my other uh, concern here too, is that it's not a call for people to actually attend the mosque, that there is communication from the mosques themselves to their membership to have people not show up. Councillor Dasko, that was my concern when this was first raised to me on Good Friday, just previous to Good Friday. Uh, and I said, well, they would think it was so unique they're being called to prayer, maybe they'll actually come. <laughs> and so I said, that's quite counterintuitive to what we're, what we're asking people to do to stay home and stay safe. So uh, mosques have done a good job broadcasting online um, and have informed their people to, they're under the same rules and guidelines. We are stay apart, stay, practice physical distancing and stay at home, work from home. So they'll convey that message. Okay, thank you. Thank you and to Councillor Fonseca. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, so a number of my questions have been answered with regards to clarification around the bylaw. I, don't, I have no problem with it. I just wanted to flag that in uh, Ward 3, I have a number of prayer rooms in apartment buildings. So the wording needs to be very clear that this is not a call to a gathering of people within those prayer rooms. I also have a mosque that is within an apartment building. Uh, so again, 
there really does need to be clarification around that. Um, so it's not about broadcasting. It's more about the clarification and uh, to ensure that everybody understands through the communication that this is a call to gather. Um, uh, so yeah, I just wanted to make that comment because I have a significant number of prayer rooms within apartment buildings and then I do have a, a mosque that is actually in an apartment building. So if we can just be sure to clarify that and then also consider how, if there are complaints, how bylaw would address that. And I'm speaking specifically to, well, I guess it could be around some of the mosques that are not in within actual uh, apartment buildings. But for in my case, um, if, if those living in those buildings file complaints, will bylaw go out and how will they address that if people are gathering for prayer rather than uh so if they're filing a, if they file a complaint not about the actual noise or no, i don't want to say noise but the actual broadcasting but more around the meeting of people congregating of people and how will we address that thank you yes so that's consideration andra will put into the actual wording which they are working on as we speak now counselors Parish and McFadden still have their arms raised. I can see Councillor Parrish has just left her seat. Councillor McFadden, did you want further comment or it was a previous hand raise? Sorry, I forgot to lower my pen. Thank you. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll assume that Councillor Parrish, here she comes. Councillor Parrish, did you have a further comment to make? No, okay, it's just, all right then. So are there any other items related to COVID-19? Nope, seeing none, we will move on. We, we're gonna go back to the motion. The motion, as a, I have it now, uh, that the enforcement of the noise control bylaw 360-79 as amended be suspended for the broadcasting of the evening call to prayer from local mosques and any other non-residential buildings regularly used for worship for the period of Ramadan in the year 2020 up to May 24th, 2020, provided the call is broadcast only once per day for a maximum of five minutes, and that is not a call for people to physically gather in contravention of regulation 52 slash 20. Discussion, and I need a mover and a seconder, and discussion. Madam Mayor, I'll move it. Thank you, and Councillor, yes, Parrish will second. So Sato and Parrish, thank you very much. Anyone else want to make comment on it? Any discussion? I think we've landed in a good place. Takes all factors into consideration. Okay, I'll just call the vote in that case. Ward one? Yes. Ward two? Yes. Ward three? Yes. Ward four? Yes. Ward five? Yes. Ward six? Yes. Ward seven? Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. Ward eight? Yes. Ward nine? Yes. Or 10? Yes. Or 11? Yes. And myself. I vote for it as well. So I'll make sure that my office communicates this to uh, the stakeholder community. And if you could reach out to your mosques as well. And I'm sure once we tell Rabia, it'll get spread out through the Muslim Council of Appeal. So very good news. Want to thank everyone. Uh, that has been moved, Madam Clerk. And we need a confirmatory bylaw. Can somebody please move that? We are now at an end. Thank you, Councillor Fonseca, seconded by Councillor Starr. All those in favor? Any opposed? Thank you. And then motion to adjourn. Thank you very much. We'll see, and anybody opposed? Perfect. See you next week, 2.30, our press conference, and see you next week. Thank you, everyone. Good meeting.